Are you looking to buy a beat from a producer online? Well, if so, then this video is going to help you out. So if you've ever seen a beat online and it simply says free at the name of it, not, not free for profit, but just free, keep in mind that doesn't actually mean that it is free. You still need to, if you are going to post it onto Apple Music, Spotify, anywhere that you can actually make a profit or a return, uh, or if you can make money back, anywhere where you can earn money, so anything that's not like SoundCloud or like YouTube, but like without the ads. If you want to post your song everywhere, then most likely like a 99.9 .9 repeating chance, chances that you are going to need to buy an actual beat in order to do so, or a beat license in particular. So if you've clicked on this video, then it's probably because you've gone to a producer that you like, that you're looking to purchase from, and you've gone and looked at their different options that they have, different license options that they have, you've perhaps even opened the license itself, and you're hit with an absolutely massive document full of a whole bunch of stuff that you don't really want to read. Well, luckily for you today, I'm going to be talking about the 11, or really kind of 12, but the, the first one's going to be super obvious, hopefully. So today, I'm going to be discussing the 11, or 12, uh, most important parts of a, beats, of a Beats license that you need to look at before deciding whether or not to buy a Beat license, before deciding which Beat license you should buy. So I'm going to jump onto my screen right now. And we'll have a look at one producer's beat store. Uh, they run through uh, through BeatStar, which is extremely popular among producers. And I'll highlight for you everything that you need to know. So odds are that you are looking at a page that looks like this right now, where you have a bunch of different options. You have the MP3 license, you have the Wave license, you have the Trackout license, you have the Unlimited license, and exclusive as well. I'm not really going to get too much into exclusives. Uh, I'll, I'll mention it a little bit later on. But I mean, exclusive, it's... it's actually, I'll, I'll mention it right now. Exclusive is is very obvious what it is. You, 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 you have to make the offer, like, you will most likely have to make the offer. I don't know very many producers that uh, have a specifically a specific price set on that. But with an exclusive license, you get the full or just about the full uh, rights to that song. You can use it however you damn well please, and it's exclusive, so you will be the only one who is allowed to use that license, or sorry, who is allowed to use that beat. However, if someone has, and this probably is the case, if someone has bought a different license beforehand, that license will still be uh, valid. So there you go, that's, that's, that's what you need to know about exclusive licenses. But you're probably, if you're watching this, you're probably not looking to buy an exclusive license, but if you are, hey, good for you. So the first and kind of like the, 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 the one thing that I don't really consider to be uh, the important part of the contract itself, but I guess in some ways it's actually the most important part of the contract. What are you actually buying with this? What is the, what form of the beat are you buying? So with the MP3 license, you're buying an MP3 file of the beat. That's all it is. With a WAV license, you're buying a WAV file, as well as the MP3 file, of the beat. With the trackout license, you're getting the MP3, you're getting the WAV file, uh, and then you're also getting each stem. So all of the, you know, you're gonna get the, you'll get the uh, the guitar, the bass, you'll get the the drums. All of the different instruments of the drums will be on different files for you, so that way you can go in, mix it however you want, cut out different parts of the beat, whatever you want to do. You can do whatever the hell you, you please with the beat. And then an unlimited license is once again going to include the MP3, the wave, the track out. Um, but with an unlimited license, you're, you, you have the full extent. It's, extensively, it's, exp it's essentially an exclusive license, only it's not exclusive to you. Everyone can still have it, but you have full rights. You can use it however you want. You can sell however many copies you want, yada, yada. All right, so that license that I mentioned before, you can click to read the license. I'm gonna, uh, we'll go with the wave because that's the most popular according to them. And the license preview, it's, there's, there's a lot here. There's a lot and you probably don't want to read it all, which is probably why you're watching this video. So what I would recommend that you all do is to go make your own uh, Excel sheet or Google, uh, Google Sheets sheet, Google Sheets sheet, 
Google Sheets document and create some sort of setup like I have done here. And I do this for all of the different producers that I ever consider buying from. Um, so in the top left, I'll just, you know, write the producer name just to keep track. And then going along, um, I'll put, you know, what are the different things that you can buy, the different types of uh, files you can buy, MP3, Wave, Trackouts, Unlimited. This might be different from producer to producer, but they're all fairly similar. So the first thing that you need to consider is the price with everything you gotta consider the price. Let's see, this producer is selling MP3s for $30, waves for 40 or for $50, trackouts for 100, unlimited for 150. They also have some bulk deals, which are, what are they all? They are buy two, get one, buy three, get two. Those are pretty standard stuff. So whenever you're buying beats, always consider your budget. Consider your budget and consider what type of uh, what type of license you will need in the first place. And then the second thing you need to consider is is whether or not with this license will you actually be allowed to upload onto a Spotify, onto an Apple Music. Will it legally allow you to do that? Sometimes most producers, with all of them will allow you to do this with any license. However, I have seen some uh, some producers who with an MP3 license will not actually allow you to upload it anywhere, This or to upload it anywhere outside of SoundCloud and whatnot. This usually happens with a beat that isn't labeled as free. It's simply labeled as a beat, so you'll so they're asking you to buy it so that way you can upload it to SoundCloud and then buy a better license in order to, up to upload it everywhere. So first off, yeah, make sure if you make sure that you can actually upload it with when you buy it. Make sure that you'll actually legally be allowed to upload it to those platforms. Next, you'll want to see how many monetized streams will this license allow you. So let's go look at this license, load that up, and you'll be able to find this. Most Beats licenses, they tend to be uh, fairly similar. Uh, they, they all kind of use the same template, which is very convenient. So this will usually be under the fourth section or the use of the beat section, part B, and this last bullet over here, or in this uh, first spot. So let's see, how many monetized streams? Two, this is for the Wave license. This, this license in particular, so this isn't gonna be everyone's license, is 250,000 monetized audio streams, 250,000 mon monetized video streams. Um, so yeah, 250,000 monetized streams for this. Then after that, so I would, uh, let me, actually let me, let me type this in while I'm going along, huh? That'd be smart. Yes, monetized streams, so 250, I'll just put K. Free streams, how many free streams are you allowed? Uh, unlimited free downloads, okay, so free downloads can be free streams as well. So unlimited free downloads, same idea. So I can type unlimited. Music video, not every license is going to allow you to shoot a music video for the, for the beat. Uh, this can be found, look at that, just right above it. The licensee, so you, may use the new song in a sync, uh, one audio visual work, no longer than five minutes in length. Keep that in mind, you're not allowed to exceed five minutes. That is unless if the beat is longer than five minutes in the first place, then you can uh, go past that point, but only for the duration of that video. You may want to read a little bit more into that if you want, but yeah. So music video, yes, you can say five minutes, but they, they pretty much all are five minutes. As far as what I've seen, but you can make a note. Monetized video streams, oh, well, I mentioned this before, but this was also 250,000. Non-monetized video streams. Um, yeah, I don't know why it doesn't allow you to do as many as you want. I don't know why that's different than the amount of unlimited free downloads. That seems a little weird to me, but this is also 250,000. Probably just that way they can keep track of it, or well, I guess you can keep track of it, of it easier. So essentially on your YouTube video, on that music video that you make for it, you're only gonna be allowed 250,000 streams uh, regardless. Which does raise a, an interesting question of if you were to have it monetized for the first, you know, 250,000 streams, but then unmonetize it, would you then be allowed an additional 250,000 streams? I feel like you would be able to. Just don't quote me on that. Unit sales, this is, you know, 
your hard copies, how many hard copies and whatnot are you allowed? So 5,000 downloads slash physical music products. So 5,000, 5K. Nonprofit performances. Ah, all right, here it is. It was literally the next bullet point up and I somehow just skipped straight over it. Uh, but the licensee may not, uh, oh, sorry. I'm looking for nonprofit right now, sorry. But the licensee may not, or sorry, the licensee may perform the song for an unlimited, unlimited non-profit non performances. Great. Unlimited non-profits. For profit, however, for this beat at least, or for this license at least, uh, is zero. May not perform the song publicly for for profit performances. So a big fat zero. And then radio stations. How many radio stations? This is in the same bullet. It's all kind of in the same little tiny section right here. The new song may be played on five terrestri terrestrial. Uh, that's, I don't really know exactly what that means, to be honest, but five or five terrestri terrest terrestrial, god damn, uh, or satellite radio stations. Cool. Five radio stations. And the contract duration. Um, contract duration. From everything that I've seen, it seems to always term, uh, seems to always be 10 years. Actually, that is not entirely true. I have seen one producer who had a one year, uh, which is a extreme pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, so typically after 10 years, uh, this license will become null and void and you will have to either renew it or take the song down. So contract duration, 10 years. And just like that, those are the 11 slash 12 most important parts of a beat license. I'm sure there's probably some other parts that are kind of important, important, but those are the, the, the parts that you really need to take note of before you buy a beat license. If you are a producer or another artist and you think that there's some more important parts or you know, just some other parts that are also really important to take note of, Please let us know in the comment. I'll make sure to I'll make sure to star all of those, and I'll also make sure to edit and add those to the pinned comments. That way, if there is other important information, then you know people watching this video can get that information as well. So yeah, so if there is anything else that you think is important that should be noted of that should be taken note of before you buy the license, then yeah, definitely let us know in the comments, um, and I will make sure to inform people uh, with my pinned comment. I'll star your comment like your comment, whatever the fuck it's, whatever the hell it's called, heart it, I don't know. I hope this has been informative for you, so make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, welcome to the crew.